Hamir, good morning. Hi, sir. My, I'm, I'm good, sir. Alhamdulillah, fine. Are you good? Yes, I'm good. Thank you. So, Niha, just want to know uh, details about your profile. Your profile looks very impressive. Me and team want to understand more about your profile. Can you a bit elaborate your profile, the details? Sure, so we'll do that. So, I'm an MBA graduate. I live in Riyadh and I have over 3.5 years of experience in using uh, SQL, Excel, and Tableau. So my daily task involves basically to collect information, to filter it through the SQL and uh, the Excel, and to make some important decisions with, through the insight. Okay, well, what is the daily task can you all involve? Can you be so elaborate technically what you manage in data? Sure, sir, we'll do that. So basically, uh, we have like different data sources. We do collect it internally. We do have like daily sales. We do have it uh, through different, uh, we do have like application data as well. So what we do is we uh, gather it all, we combine it in Excel, and then we uh, do some filtering in SQL. Then after making it filtering, like we get, we usually make important decisions like uh, what drink to offer the next day, what's, uh, there's a something which can expire. So and usually we, we make important decisions, daily decisions, weekly decisions, monthly decisions in advance. Okay. So uh, you have a strong knowledge in Microsoft database, correct? I do, sir, yes. Okay. What is the difference between delete and drop? So basically, if you're going to delete something, it's going to be something specific. Let's say a row or just an entry. Uh, but when you talk about drop, we, yani once we run the drop syntax, it's going to delete the entire table with the structure. Okay. So out of deleted drop and truncate, which one is rolled back and which is not rolled back? Uh, every, uh, all kind of syntax can be rolled back, sir. But if you refresh in mm -hmm. your database, which one will roll back and which one will not roll back? Yeah, we, all of them. Even the delete, truncate, or the drop. Which okay. all can Let's be check one to the drop. Uh, you can, now I'll not answer this one. You can check it. Okay. What is sure, SQL sir. soft query and how it is helping? I uh, know on behalf of other command in SQL. The query is basically a query within a query. Mm -hmm. So if we have a query, we can use a subquery within the where. So it's a query within a query. Okay. And uh, which one will you prefer in comparing the subquery also getting the data from Tutable and the join also using Tutable? But which one will you prefer and why? Any idea about? Oh. Uh, Preferable, so it depends oh, on the condition. Yeah. It depends on the condition. Basically, uh, join do it on like column basis, horizontally. We must say, and subquery doesn't do it that way. It's just like using a query within a query. It totally depends on the situation. What is stored procedure, and what are the advantage of stored procedure? So stored procedure is basically if you are like repeating a query again and again. So you just like save it, you make it a, like you, you can give it an, an alias and then you can use it again and again. So it will be easier to save your time and it will be much easier than to, you know, to write the entire syntax again and again. Okay. What are the different SQL, uh, you know, ranking functions is there and how it will be helpful for daily task? So we have, uh, First thing is rank, then we have dance rank, then we have end tile, and then we have uh, row number. So row number is basically is gonna give you the row number, like starting from one, there's no duplicate in it, which is basically gonna number the rows. When it comes to rank, so what happens basically is if there is a duplicate value, so rank is gonna skip the sequence. In dance rank, it's the opposite. It's gone, if, if it does have a, a duplicate value, it's gonna give the same rank to it, but it's not gonna skip the sequence. The third one, uh, the fourth one is end tile. So in end tile, what happens is basically we give them a range of, uh, let's say, any, I'm gonna give a range of just rank this data set in four. So it's gonna divide and it's gonna rank that data into the four numbers only, just like that. Okay. Uh... Can you uh, have an idea about to advance Excel and Excel? I do, so yeah. Okay. What is the maximum size of a data you can store in Excel? So talking about the rows is 10,000. Uh, 10,000 10, or 10 lakhs? 
Oh, sorry, ten lakh forty eight thousand seventy six, forty eight thousand five seventy six. Okay. And okay. Uh, the columns are sixteen thousand three eighty four. Okay. What is slicer and how it is helping in building a dashboard? So slicer in an easy way we can say like filtering data visually is what a slicer do. It filters data visually on a dashboard. Okay. And conditional formatting, any idea? And how many conditions we can apply in a one Excel sheet? Conditional formatting, sir, it's uh, like formatting the data as per your conditions to like give them different colors. Uh, and we can do it like as much as we want. As to what I have observed in my, as my knowledge. Okay. What is the extension of Excel? Any idea? Extension of Excel. So sorry, I didn't get that. Extension of Excel. Extension of Excel? Yeah. Excel access, you mean? Yes. Okay. What are the different source till now you pull the data to so basically I, I I got it from like uh, we have this internal data first of all, which we collect, and then we have this uh data from the Oracle as well. And then we have, uh, there's a system called Symphony we use. We use to pull out data from that, like our daily sales, food sales, and all the stuff. And then we do get data from our Starbucks application, yeah. Okay. So how do you, what is your, your engagement when a data collecting, data cleaning, data transforming, uploading data, data into data warehousing, Finding the you know law, applying the lot of uh, filter and uh, transformation data, enhancing the data. So what you you do engage all the tasks or you are partially engaged? I I know so I I will say like uh, I'm do engage in all of these tasks. I do collect it sometimes. I filter it all the time and then uh, visualizing it and making decision is the main part of my job. So yeah, I'll say one or the other way. I'm involved in all those tricks stuff. Yeah. Okay. In Tableau, coming to Tableau, what is show me in Tableau? Show me is basically going to show you like what all uh, options do you have for graph. If you have a particular data, it's going to show you this, uh, what define how, what different kinds of charts it will be, you know, you can visualize that data. Okay. I will define your data set. A data set. Data set. A data set, I, I might define it as uh, a table, a table of a particular... What is the difference between table and data set? Uh, so I'm not sure about that, sorry. You told that I'm building a lot of our dashboard and uh, you are publishing. Where do you publish your dashboard in Tableau? And what are the steps you follow for sharing a published dashboard? So we go to the connect server. Mm -hmm. Uh, once you go into that test and uh, this asking about the tableau servers, so basically we go into that and we can add publish it. Hmm. What is the SQL custom code in Tableau? So How if we want to run a query in Tableau, uh, like an SQL query, so we go into the custom uh, code of SQL and then we want to run the SQL query in there. Okay. Any idea about the difference between dot .twb and twbx? What is that exactly difference? Uh, no, sir, I'm not through with that concept. Sorry for that. Okay. As of for now. What project you've done in Tableau? Can you be to elaborate on that? Sure, sir. So the very recent project, the capstone project, what I did is basically is the, the aim for it to, you know, to make some important decisions uh, for our uh, very next promotions coming in uh, this summer. So in that, what we did is we basically extract the data from the sources which I talked about, uh, Oracle, Symphony, and the internal data. And then we transformed it to our uh, business requirement. We filtered it. We make some uh, we uh, make some extra columns and all those stuff. We desired it as per our convenience. And then we uh, uploaded it into the SQL to run some queries on it. After we did that, we visualized it in the tableau. And then according to that dashboard, we came up some with some important business decisions which we're gonna be taking in future. Uh, inshallah based on yeah. Okay. What do you mean internal and external data? When you're talking about internal and external data. Uh, so as per my understanding, sir, internal data is something which you say which is in-house, uh, which you get it by yourself within the organization. External is something which you can say which you can just like 
get it from the outside source. Okay. And uh, as you told, you are currently working in Saudi area and you are working in a retail based company. Alessia is the big, biggest uh, uh, company in Saudi. But you, if you are uh, the job role is you are know, enjoying and you are you know, getting good things, why you are planning to change your current job? What is the reason behind? Oh, there's no reason behind it as a human trait. I'm just looking for something better. So if I'm gonna get it, not as a right hand in better position in that. I I, I I am actually in a better position, but you know there's always better than better. Okay. It's like if I'm gonna be looking out for something, if I'll see it, for sure I'm gonna grab it. How do you handle the stress? How do I handle what sir? Come again? Stress, work pressure. Stress. Uh, so basically, it's that kind of difference with me. I, I, I don't get stress a lot, and when it does, it just I just laugh out of it. So, it's, I'm a very wrong person to ask this question about. Okay. So, uh, what domain you are currently working? So I, I can you please elaborate that. Uh, which domain you are currently working? Uh, domain as in you mean what sector I'm working yes, in? Yes, yes. Retail, I must say. Okay, retail and software part you are working in. Yes. Okay. So what is your strength? So my strength, I must say, first of all, is the confidence. Uh, I learn things very fast. It's easier for me and I can do things better than others. How, can you give a scenario where you face the challenges in your current organization uh, or any previously worked any company, there you face a lot of challenges and how you overcome the challenges? Uh, so, okay, let's talk about this. So, challenges are everywhere, by the way. It's not just about me being in any other previous company, this company. So, every other day is actually doing up a new challenge. So, for me, it's simple. I just don't get any stressed about it. Uh, what I just do is I just take it as a challenge. I learn from it. And if it's not happening the first time, I'll make sure it's happening the second time. So I just keep trying it and let it solve. So yeah, I just don't lose hope and I just keep trying on it. Okay. So you are in different time zone. And I do, yes. how will we manage this time zone if we're going to for a suppose and take about to USA or about to into India? Or you are in Saudi. So how will we manage the time zone? Is the time will be not an issue for you? No, it will be totally fine with me. All right, yeah, I think I, I, I'm okay for you. And do you have any question for me? Yes, I do actually. Uh, uh, I just want to ask, what will be this one reason why you are not going to hire me if you not do? Uh, this thing because we are uh, you know taking a few candidates and uh, there's a few more uh, next level of interviews there. So mm -hmm. I think I'll consider from this level of I'm considering you for next level. Uh, maybe going for the, the other people they'll take and they're based on that opinion, we can consider for you. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you. All the best. Thank you, sir.